orphan stashes or stashes, that are no longer referenced by any other object. If there are no orphan stashes in the blend file, the view and remove tools will be grayed out. One way to create orphan stashes, is by clearing any or all stashes from an object. The view orphan stashes tool works the same as the view stashes tool. Make sure you check out that video, if you haven't already. You can use it to inspect and retrieve orphan stashes. The remove orphan stashes tool is similar to the clear stashes tool, but will delete stash objects from the blend file permanently, instead of just clearing a reference to them from an object. Since orphan stashes have no relation to any other objects anymore, they will only be displayed at, and retrieved to the location they were originally stashed at. As you can see, the cube was moved after the stashes were created, but since the stashes are orphaned, they don't know about that and return to their original location and orientation. I mentioned in the transfer stashes video, how multiple objects can reference the same stash objects. And so, if you duplicate an object, you will duplicate its stashes, but not the stash objects they are pointing to. If you then clear the stashes on one of the objects, you will not create orphan stashes. Because they are still referenced by the other object. It's only when you clear the stashes on the other object, or delete it, that its stashes will be orphaned. If you remember from the transfer stashes video, the subset stash here is not referencing the same stash object as the stash on the sphere, even though they look the same. Instead it was retrieved and re-stashed, and so both stash objects are unique. And if either one is deleted, it will become orphaned immediately. <laughs>